Oh, no, nah, y'all, I was, hey, I was just getting ready to say y'all could do better than that because I chose y'all over my hometown. Like, say, um, when I say I am super excited to be here, I always give classes, but I'm super excited to be here. The reason being is because Straight Request has been my baby for years. Believe it or not, I only been knowing Tony the past couple years of my career, but I've been using Straight Request my entire, almost my entire career. I got licensed in 1988. Straight Request came out about 1993, and I've been using Straight Request ever since then. But I think Straight Request is a sleeping giant. Like I feel like, I feel like Tony Company is an underdog, and it's up to us, each and every last one of us, to make sure that we're not only using a product, but implementing the product right in our businesses. I have been blessed enough to um, be a licensed, I'm a licensed uh, holistic trichologist. I am a barber stylist. I'm a serial entrepreneur and um, a hair nerd. And you guys will see that. And um, I'm a light giver. That means my gift and what I have, I wanna leave with you today. And I want you guys, I'm gonna give a few rules before we get started. This class is interactive. And when I say interactive, we don't save Q&A for the end like some classes say, well, hold your questions to the end. No, half of us in here, we got short attention span. We need to ask that question right away and somebody else in the room might need that answer. So I want you to know that when you, when, when I'm speaking and you need to ask a question, interject. I'm gonna say that one more time. If I'm speaking and you need to ask a question, just interject. And I'm serious when I say that, because the only stupid question is the unasked question. Um, so what we're gonna do today, I wanna show you guys how exactly to use all straight request products from start to finish as I'm serving this guest. I want you guys to pay attention, take notes and ask questions. The reason why I'm saying that is because what I'm gonna do is serve Ebony. I created an acronym in my business, it is called SERVE. From the moment you walk in the door until you leave, we serve. Serve stands for suggest, educate, retention, value, and execute. We serve. If you need me to say that again, I will. But if you don't, ask your neighbor. All right, so even if you have natural questions, because I'm doing a relaxer, I want you guys to ask. I heard somebody say something before I was talking. Did somebody, was somebody asking me a question over here? Would you, you good? You so pretty. I don't even got my glasses on and you pretty. I usually can't see nothing. All right, so what we gonna do is, in order to serve this guest properly, when she first walked through the door, if she was coming into Charlie's Angels Beauty Bar, the salon that, the salon that I own, and Tony failed to, to, to say that, I own Charlie's Angels. My husband is Charlie and I'm Angel. And we're both barbers. So we called the salon Charlie's Angel, which is a, a, the sister shop of our barbershops, No Grease. We are the first African-American barbershop to ever franchise in the United States. Wow. First. So Charlotte gave us Juneteenth. They gave us Juneteenth as No Grease Day in Charlotte. So we, not only did we gain our freedom Juneteenth, we, we gained a love note in Charlotte Juneteenth as well. So we celebrate that. And I, 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 I so appreciate that. And the only way we can do that is because we created a bridge program where we work together with other barbers and we created something called the Barber League. And in Charlotte, we have something called the D League. If a barber shop can't, if a barber can't come to our shop, we send them to another shop. It's a bridge program and it's a win-win situation, guys. We literally created the Barber League where we trade stylists and barbers out all day long. So say you can't work in my shop. Guess what I got a shop for you you can go work in because of the Barber League. And I'm telling you, I'm giving you guys game. Like if I want you guys to pick up what I'm putting down. Like, cause I came here for you guys to do that. I ain't, it's, it's no secrets in here and I want you guys to understand this is a safe space. So whatever is said in here is going to stay in here. It's like Vegas. I don't know how many of you guys been to Vegas, but I was there two weeks ago, and I, I swear to God, whatever I done, I wanted to stay there. I'm just being real. All right? All right, so like I said, interactive, any questions, just ask. What we're going to do is from the moment Ebony walked through the door until she leave, I'm going to serve her. So the first thing I do when she walked through the door, she sign in. With our sign-in sheet, on our sign-in sheet, it say name, stylist, referred by walk-in or appointment. The reason why I say that is because 
whoever she was referred by is going to get a discount based off that referral. If she was referred by Instagram, we asked her what the hashtag was. Tell me why. Because I want to keep using that hashtag. Come on, y'all. Come on, like it's interactive. We got to talk to each other. All right? So with that being said, refer by Instagram. I want to know the hashtag. So at my salon meeting, we talk about these hashtags. On our walk-in sheet, we need to keep using those. If it was referred by a client, that client's going to get her point for referring that client. We do three referrals. You get one style free. Holla at your girl. Now, understand what I just said. Our price point allows us to do that. You refer me three, you get one free. I got a girl named Ashley Johnson. I've been there 12 years. Ain't never paid for a hairstyle. She work at the airport. Be strategic, beautiful people. Come on now. Like y'all got to start thinking ahead of your business. Your personal development depends on your business development. I'm telling you. And y'all don't even want to invest in a class. It ain't investing in that person. It's sowing a seed into your business. Come on. Stop looking at people's prices because one day you're going to be worth that plus. So we got to start thinking like that. Like, so instead of saying, oh, that's too much for that class, say, hold up. That's not even enough to, to sow a seed into my business. What God is trying to say to me? Hello. Come on, y'all got to start thinking like that as we move forward in our business. Because legacy wealth takes a different mind shift, beautiful people. So now Ebony is in a chair. I say, you gotta, I got to shake Ebony's hand. I say, Ebony, I appreciate you for choosing me. You could have chose anybody else. And now... I go to her hair and I look on my book and see what she booked. She might have booked a shampoo style, but it is clear that Ebony needs, a, she needs a, a corrective cut and a relaxer. She chose a shampoo style. You think I'm a chew her out? Oh, I ain't got time for that, girl. You chose shampoo style, my next client to be here in 45 minutes. No, it is time for me to upsell Ebony. Instead, the time I took to chew her out, I'm laying that relaxer while you over there screaming and hollering at her. Oh, okay. Okay, so I see, I'm looking at her scalp. Her scalp is good. She don't have no flakes on her scalp. It don't look dry. Is your scalp dry and itchy? It looked pretty good. Her hair definitely needs a relaxer. It look, uh, it look a, a bit weak from the hair shaft. So I'm looking at it, and it, as I'm looking at it, I'm going through all the products that I got in the back of my salon to see which product best suits her. I asked her, when was the last time you loved your hair? When she tell you, she gonna run down products she was using, she gonna run down who did it, when they did it. I ain't worried about her last dollars and what happened. She's in my chair now, I'm taking care of her. I am not asking about her last dollars, that ain't my business. My business is, is to serve this guest. Now she in my chair, she, she booked the wrong service, I'ma straighten her out. All right, so today what we gonna do, Miss Ebony, I noticed that you do need a relaxer. You booked a shampoo style, but that's okay. I'm here to serve you. So now that you booked a relaxer, I have to charge a premium to this service. Is that okay if I do charge this premium? Yeah. You want to tell them that up front. Don't wait till the end of the service and get her a ticket and then you wonder why. Y'all, people live got a budget too. Y'all know that, right? They got kids just like y'all. They got cardinals just like y'all. So y'all got to stop trying to think for these customers. Y'all cannot. All right, now that we clear on it's a premium for her service, I'm going to go in and choose the relaxer. The relaxer I choose today is the red box because her hair is thick, she needs a relaxer, and her bonds seem to be weak. The red box is going to give me what I need, everything I need to get her hair back on track. And what I love about the red box relaxer is it is the protein infused relaxer that now that I am not only relaxing her, softening and swelling her bonds as her bonds soften and swell it is depositing that protein into her hair shaft holla at your girl <laughs> come on y'all gotta come on hey, stop no raising hands say what you got to say right Yeah, uh, hard hair, the last thing hard hair need is protein. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Hard hair needs moisture. Yeah, you need moisture and hydration. You need a combination of both. Hair loves a balance of acid, moisture, and hydration. Y'all could write, y'all could write that down. Like, listen, when I drop stuff you don't know, you need to write that down. The reason being is because, all right, so I'm gonna use the ice first to base her scalp. Why am I basing her scalp? You got a question though in the blue shirt. Go ahead. Right. Uh huh. Um, it even comes out onto, onto her face. Natural relax. She's relaxed. Uh huh. But she hasn't had a relaxer in maybe three months, four months. Well, because she had braids. Because she had uh -huh. braids. Okay. So she didn't comb the hair out after taking the braids out. Okay. So now we have, you know, if you wet that kind of hair, you're going to have a you not hair. You're not supposed to wet it. Right. As a stylist, as a professional, you know what happens after braids. The hair continues to shed. Right. Hair sheds every day, right. 80 to 100 strands. Right. Even in braids, hair is shedding. Okay. So as that hair is shedding, it's only locking up into that hair. Right. So as a professional, you're supposed to put conditioner. So I would use Power K60, the instant conditioner, on her hair first, then comb through it. But guess what else I would do? Now she's got to get. Now she's charged for detangling. Oh, oh, you want, we talking business. It ain't personal. You didn't comb your hair out. You didn't detangle it. I got to use a product and I got to detangle it, which takes me more time and more product. Come on. Every time there's a step added, it's some money added too. But I need you to articulate that. All right, what's her name? We ain't going to say no names. All right, Miss Ebony, you came in today. I noticed you took braids out. You, ain't, you, you haven't had your hair done in three months. I noticed your scalp is very flaky. So now that, that, Guess what that flaky scalp does? Now I get her a detoxing treatment after I give her the relaxer. She burned fast. She burned and, fast. But I'm going to base her with my ice. And then because she burned fast, I'm glad you said that. Because she irritates fast, I'm going to let this ice sit for five to eight minutes and let it deposit into the second layer of her scalp. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, okay. that's why it's methylated. It methylated because it penetrates. Come on, sis. Come on back here with this, this hand. A ask your question and say, speak up loud. Okay, so can we just go back to um, the statement you made about what the hair loves? I know you said acid. Okay. Some neighbor, neighbor. Sure. All right, so when I'm working and somebody asks a question that y'all know, I need y'all to answer it. I thought we was co-workers. We just work in different salons. Come on now. So I based her. Do you irritate fast, Miss Ebony? Miss Ebony doesn't irritate fast. I let it sit for about three minutes as I mix this relaxer. Once I mix it, I'm ready to apply it. All right. What I do first, because I know her strands are fragile. We talked about that. Guess what I do? I protect it with the Power K60 so I don't overlap the relaxer. Come on. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to take care of these kids and these grandkids. And I ain't depending on nobody to do it for me because my business depends on me. I cannot outgrow my business. My business depends on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm letting that sit. I'm going to go through her hair with the Power K60 to protect her already overprocessed, weakened strands. Come on now. So I don't overlap it because we just known for overlapping. We can't help it. The hair is short. You're going to overlap it. But if I already protect it, then I don't have to worry about overlapping. And you guys make sure um, whenever you're using products that you're not um, Power K60. Does that say Power K60? Yes. All right, just making sure because these are, I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm trying to show out right now. <laughs> so... Yeah, I take, I don't cross-contaminate products. I suggest you guys don't do the same. Believe it or not, what I'm finding out, because I am a hair loss specialist, that the stylist is really the person that's damaging these clients' scalp and hair. And I just want to be honest with you guys. Um, when people, by the time people get to me, they come to me from another, another stylist that caused their scalps to be inflamed, to be irritated. And it can be because of cross-contamination, or it can be because... Um, you guys don't understand which, the, which product to use. So like, say for instance, if I use, every product I use is intentional.
Tony made every product on this table specific for a reason. That's why it's so many products. Y'all think it's so many products. Is y'all thinking, oh, that's too many products. No, y'all ain't got enough solutions for the problems that he is solving for you, for your clients, because you guys don't understand what to use them for. So the protein relaxer is used for wicked hair, not hard hair, not brittle hair, wicked hair. Weak, the hair has to be weak. Now if the hair is dry and brittle, then you want to you wanna run for the black box. All right, are we clear? You want to make sure that you're conditioning the already treated hair, the already relaxed treated hair with the Power K60 Instant Conditioner. Not the protein one, guys, because that's a premium. You want to make sure that you're using each conditioner where you're supposed to use it at. All right? I actually like to use um, the brush, the tint brush with shorter bristles, even shorter than this for relaxers with short hair. So I'm not wasting product. Um, how many ounces does it take to do a relaxer, a retouch relaxer? Can anybody answer that? It's not a, it's not a trick question, just answer the question. Two ounces is for a hairline. Four ounces is for an entire retouch relaxer. Who said two ounces? I like that though. I like the fact that you participated and you understood. So if you're using over four ounces, you are wasting product. I don't care how long her hair is. If it's a retouch, you're only retouching the new growth. You don't run a relaxer through her entire hair strand. You're only retouching the regrowth hair only. And it takes four ounces. Is, it, is their hair required for ounces? Then you charge them for a virgin. You know exactly where we're going with this. You took the, ask that, say it again so the people in the back can hear you. If it's more than four ounces of relaxer, she is a virgin relaxer. If you got to use eight ounces, six ounces, anything over four ounces, that's a virgin all day long. So now her, her, her base has penetrated her scalp. I protected her already weakened hair fibers. Now I'm going in with the relaxer. Let's not forget she got her muffin in her water. <laughs> Why y'all still trying to sell it? <laughs> She got it complimentary because my price point took care of that. Put that stuff into your prices already. Come on, no raising hands. Say what you got to say. Say it out loud. Um, so you're saying that's the four ounce, right? What, right here? Eight. That's the eight ounce. Uh-huh. So how long usually do that last? You're only doing a retouch on time. Yes. So how long will that last? You, do you guys got like a cool, do you store your products in a cool area? It, well, like your supply room is supposed to be like a cool space. And you guys in Florida, so I'm sure you got the air on all day, right? So as long as this product stays cool, Tony, how long does this last on, as one, once it's mixed? Tell me you recommend 72 hours, but the chemist tells me one week. All right, you guys got that? But let me, yeah, yes. The, well, it's because you mixed it. Yeah. Right. And I'm going to keep it real. I recommend 72 hours. Yeah, because I want to make sure I'm getting the potent. I want to make sure I'm getting that, that chemical reaction that I'm looking for. Because you guys know how relaxers work? Relaxers work by heat. They're heat activated. That's how come they tell you to keep them in a cool area. Because once the heat hit them, hit them, you activate this relaxer. That's how come when I put it on her hair, her body temperature rises and it makes it swell, soften and swell. Now it's breaking the bonds in the process. So what's the two parts of the hair? Anybody can answer that. What's the two parts of the hair? The root and whichever. And what else? Who said that? And the shaft. The root and the shaft. What's the hair shaft? What is it? Come on now, y'all. The cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. The cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. If you do hair every day and don't know that, it's hair. The cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla is what you deal with every day. This is how come you need to understand hair first, not product. The hair dictates the product. So let's talk about that now that we're here. This is a safe space. Come on, honey, speak. I, say that louder. Two 
two types of hair that don't possess the medulla. Fine hair and what else? Fine hair and natural blondes. So if you got a client that got fine hair and she's naturally blonde, you might don't want to use sodium hydroxide on her hair. You need guanidine, baby. It's a lower pH. You are you don't have to blow through all you don't have to blow through everything because she don't have the medulla, which is the peril, the which is the marrow, the pith of the hair, which gives the hair its coarseness. Why do I need to use sodium hydroxide on her? Cuz I'm gonna blow through it with this sensitive scalp relaxer. And I need you guys to understand, too, sensitive scalp means exactly that. It's sensitive scalp. It ain't sensitive for the hair. <laughs> I like sodium hydroxide. I, what I do as a professional, after using this for six months on somebody, I stop using it and I reset it yeah. with a sodium hydroxide relaxer. Oh, it. And it gives her a clean slate. You want to know why? Because now you got this product buildup because uh, Tony has 3.3% of calcium in his relaxers. That calcium will leave a buildup on that hair and that scalp if you don't get rid of it. And that's how come I love Tony. He created something called After Calcium. Come on now, genius. Y'all see the connection there? All sensitive scalp relaxers have calcium. Every last one of y'all that do relaxers need After Calcium. Every last one of y'all. And if you're doing a relaxer on a client using the same relaxer for over six months, she need to be reset every six months by using a different type of relaxer to reset her hair. All right, so that gives her that clean slate again and vice versa. So if it's sodium hydroxide for six months, then she need a sensitive scalp. Vice versa. Are we clear? So the hair shaft, which is the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla, and this is how come I love Tony products, is because his products deal with all three layers. It takes care of everything. So as, like I said, I am breaking the bonds. What are the side bonds of the hair, beautiful people? Come on. So who said that? The sulfide. One, two more. That's right. Who are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to know who he was because it's like, it's important. Like, listen, guys, we are dealing with people hair every day. You have to know hair. The reason why you don't understand products is because you don't know hair. In order to choose the proper product, you got to be able to know hair. Hair is a, it's science in hair. So this hair is telling me, it tells you exactly what it wants, what it needs, based on the condition of the hair and scalp. And you treat them two as two separate entities. One more time. You don't treat the scalp and the hair the same. It's two separate entities. Two separate entities. So the side bonds, all side bonds are being broken during this relaxer process. We are breaking the hydrogen bond, the salt bond, and the disulfide bond. What is the strongest bond in the hair? And I, not Mr. Wells. Because he's, <laughs> what's the strongest bond in the hair? The sulfide bond is the strongest bond. That bond can only be broken when the pH is over what? Green shirt, go ahead, speak. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Thank you. See, you see that ice melt? That's what I told y'all. It gets that heat, that body heat turned up on her. Thank you, beautiful. All right, come on, y'all. We in class. We in class. We gon' y'all gonna learn today. Y'all gonna learn today. We gonna understand. Like this is how come it's important to teach hair, because now you guys walk away with not just understanding this product, but now you gonna get back to the shop and you gonna be like, oh my god, I've been messing up. I need to I need to go back and rethink all these services I've been giving these clients. All right. So hydrogen bond. Salt bond and the sulfide bond, all three bonds can only be broken when the pH is over what? On the pH scale. Over seven. That's right. That's right. Do anybody know what the pH of Florida water is? Orlando specifically. The pH of your water is 8.4. And the reason why I checked your water is because your water is breaking your client's bonds. <laughs> and that's why it's so important to understand how to get the hair back to its happy place. What is the happy place on the pH scale for hair? 
4.5 to 5.5. How do we get it back to 4.5 to 4.5? to 5.5 by understanding these products pHs and understanding where the hair needs to live in its happy place. So if the water is the last thing to hit your client's hair, then where do you think you left her hair at? 8.4 all day long. <laughs> and you thinking in your mind, like, you did the right thing. But this is why I love straight requests. The minute you spray on any of his leave-ins, it brings the hair back. It's a four. His silky fast dry. His three and one. Come on now. Come, come on. Did y'all see what I just did for y'all? Did y'all just see what I did? You got to bring, it's up to you to understand. There's two type of products that don't have a pH. And this is about to blow your mind. Because in your mind, you thinking y'all really doing something. It's two types of products that don't have a pH. Because somebody tell me. Come on, come on y'all. Yeah, I need Orlando to stand up. If you don't know, guess who's going to tell you? Exactly, because I want you to win. So two types of products that don't have pH are oils and hairsprays. So if you got products that you think, oh, let me use my miracle oil, let me use this, that, and putting it on the hair, girl's going to, no, nah, bro, they going to do nothing. It ain't even got a pH. <laughs> like, so I need you guys to understand hair can only grow. How does hair grow? Anybody can answer that. How does hair grow? Say it again. Okay, that's hair. Hair grows because of genetics and hormones. Hair is only dictated by two things, genetics and hormones. Hair is connected to your bloodstream. Hair is connected to your bloodstream. Hair gets nourishment and oxygen from the bloodstream. Now tell me this. If your client has hair loss or a scalp disorder that's caused by autoimmune disease, how does a cucumber or an orange help that when you put it, or aloe on the, that's how come social media scares me because you're all so quick to follow people that's, that's gimmicking you guys, that's tricking you guys and fooling you guys into believing that this is what works on hair. When hair is genetics and hormones and connected to your bloodstream, and not only that, it is predetermined how your hair gonna grow already through your genetics. So if your mom and your daddy bald head, what you think you gonna be? And I just wanna be real. So all I'm saying is with the arm, with the proper information, you know how to talk to these clients now. You get what I'm saying? I don't want y'all going back saying that this is a safe space. I'm gonna say that, I want you to edit that. Go. Yeah. Yeah, that is so important. So Tony wants me to reiterate what I said about the pH, about getting the pH back to its happy place. So I did a video about staying within the systems. It is important if you use anybody's relaxer that you use their entire system because their system is created to be pH balanced. They know what they're doing when they created this product. They have chemists and they know exactly what they're doing. So if you stay within the um, if you stay within the system, that system itself will bring the pH back down to its happy place. But the minute you deviate from that system, you did a disservice to those clients here. So if you start off with straight requests, I need you to finish with straight requests. It is pH balance. Are we clear? Yes. All right. So that's with any product, guys. Any product, okay? Y'all got any questions? We talking here. We talking here. We learning. We learning. Yes. Yes, and we're going to talk about that. Either Tony going to teach or I'm going to teach. I don't use Silky Dry Fast. I use 3-in-1 pH balancer because I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Now, Silky Dry Fast is my maintenance leave-in. But after any chemicals, I'm going in with that 3-in-1, that pH balancer, because it's going to balance that hair back down to its happy place. That's the difference. So I need you guys to understand that. Yep, and whatever I'm not, whatever y'all, if y'all not picking up what I'm putting down, ask the question again. I would definitely repeat myself. I don't have a problem with repeat myself. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I allow this relaxer to work. So, like, I'll step away from the relaxer for about eight to ten minutes and let it do what it needs to do. The problem is with a lot of you guys, you lay the relaxer and you go back in and start smoothing. But do you know that this relaxer is made to work on its own? Wow. 
So I come from old school back when we was doing Jerry curls and S curls and y'all, you know, y'all don't know nothing about that because boy, I used, I used to shine like an 87 Jerry curl. <laughs> and back in the days, relaxers were called texturizers. Even the relaxers was. They just, you know, you y'all new school guys changed all that for us. But a relaxer is not supposed to bone straight the hair unless that's what you wanted to do. But as textured people, we supposed to elongate the curl pattern and still keep the texture in her hair. Whenever you bone straight the hair, you have overprocessed her hair. Cause our hair, our hair will between a relaxer and heat, the hair is gonna do what it needs to do, right? Like you ever just like in your mind think you messed up somebody's relaxer because you didn't get it bone straight. But then when you put the products and the heat on it, you like, oh man, this is the, and then you like for those heavy tops, man, I just lay the relaxer. I don't even go back through that. I just lay it and let the relaxer work. And then I'll go through and break the other bonds on the sides because I just want to do my waves. But other than that, I do not touch these relaxers because I understand hair first. And then I understand product one more time. I understand hair first, and then I understand product. It is not the other way around, beautiful people. It cannot be the other way around. Because if I, if I know what a product does, but I don't know hair, how would I know when to use it? You got to know hair. If you call yourself a specialist, if any of you guys in here call yourself a specialist, I need you to make sure that you specialize. That's like your primary care doctor sending you to a cardiologist, but he don't specialize in hearts. That don't make no sense to me. I don't want to go to him. And that's how you should feel about your business, the exact same way. So now that I'm allowing her hair to sit for eight to 10 minutes, I say, all right, Miss Ebony, how you feel? Okay. All right, so right now I'm about to educate her to ask why I chose these services and these products. And in the midst of me educating her on these products and services, I'm going to sell her retail. I ain't even made it to the shampoo bowl. I upsold her. She, she came in for a shampoo style. She's now getting a relaxer and she's going to get a corrective cut. And I'm going to sell her retail before we get to the shampoo bowl. Because this is your first time here, Miss Ebony. I would suggest that you take home our first time clients package. Come on. <laughs> I would suggest you take home your first time client package. The reason being is because I want you and I to stay on the same page as far as the integrity of your hair is concerned. Come on. And the first thing y'all to say is, well, what if she say no? How she gonna say no with all this education I'm giving her? Her mind is blown. She ain't never heard this before. She gonna, she gonna pull out that, she gonna, try, she gonna go to her account, she gonna transfer money while I'm over here doing something else. Like, and until you guys got to make sure that you're doing your part. The problem is, is you so busy trying to make the money that you know you could do less hair and make more money. Yeah, y'all don't want to hear that, though. Y'all too busy. Y'all too busy. Y'all factory workers and don't even know it. Y'all running assembly lines. I'm not going to run no assembly line. I'm going to serve. I'm going to suggest, educate, retention, value, and execute. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to educate this client. She ain't going nowhere else. She's going to come sit in your chair, and she's going to say, well, you know, my style is out of town right now, but I need to come to you. She used straight request this. She used straight request that. And that style ain't going to have none of that. She ain't going to know what the hell she's talking about. You know what my client going to do? She's going to take the cape off. I'm going to just wait for Angel to get back because you ain't going to mess up my hair while my style is gone. So you, you, don't you want your clients to be like that? Yeah. An educated client yeah. goes to educated stylists. Yeah. The reason why your client isn't educated, she, you sent her out the door to go to Rite Aid and CVS and Target and Walmart to buy her products. My client is getting her products in my business. Yeah. As soon as you walk through my door to retail shelf, grease you, hey. Because I want them to know that as you walk out the door, you got your packages. We even name our packages in the shop. We got a package called vacation. Vacation. <laughs> this is what you take when you go on vacation with your man or your woman. Come on, y'all. What is y'all not thinking about? We got, a, we, got another part, we got another package called uh, pillow talk. This is what you use before your head hit the pillow. Come on. Now, y'all get creative. Y'all are creators. So y'all gonna tell me God gave y'all that gift. 
but he didn't give y'all the gift of, come on, come on. You, you gotta, you, you gotta be creative. You know, like my name, marketing name is Angel Robinson. My name is Angel Petty, but it ain't marketable. So I named myself Angel Robinson so it can be marketable. Come on, y'all. Wake up. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, it is time for us to wake up. And this is how come I love straight requests, because this product gives us the opportunity to take care of everybody. As long as you know the product, you're going to take care of everybody. And that's what I love about these relaxer systems. He catered to everybody. So even uh, Power Smooth, Straight Plus, and Ultra Butter, right? Let's talk about those relaxers. In order to use those relaxers, you got to be a fast-moving hairstylist. If you slow, don't use our relaxers. Point blank and a period. And I can... I can say that because we okay with y'all not using them if you don't know how. We rather for you not to use them than to do a disservice and use them and then it comes back to our company. That makes no sense to me. So let's go over what we learned so far. So we know we have to base the scalp and if they, you have oversensitive scalp clients, you wanna make sure that that base sits on for about five to eight minutes, let it penetrate, that's why it's methylated, so it can penetrate. You choose the relaxer based on the hair condition and the scalp's condition. So say her scalp was flaky, I would choose something with a little more moisture in it. Doesn't that just make sense? The opposite of dry is what? So why y'all grease the scalp? I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna leave that right there. Y'all mean to tell me, you don't know that your scalp is an extension of your face? So after you cleanse your face in the morning, do you put grease on it or you put moisture on it? I'm gonna mad my business if y'all putting grease on y'all face. <laughs> That's a calcium-based relaxer. That's your opportunity to upsell them on an after-calcium treatment. So, all right, so right now, um, I'm going to let this sit because see how, look, it's broke down? I can comb it all the way through because I protected her strands already. Oh, okay. I did my due diligence. Ain't nothing going to happen to that hair. I coated that shaft. Once you coat that shaft, you protected that shaft. I combed it through because it melted. So it softened and it swelled, so it melted. It ain't gonna sit on there long, so it ain't gonna do nothing. But if it wasn't protected, yes, I'm over processing her hair, but I'm not. Angel, yeah. One more time. The question that Alexis asked was about a box. All right, so calcium based relaxers, our box relaxers are in the store. They're straight calcium, no guanidine is in them. So they don't have anything to soften the blow. So whenever you're using a straight calcium-based relaxer, you're creating damage to the hair, period. That's how come when clients come to me with calcium-based relaxers, we have to go into treatment mode. At that point, you want to use your moisturizing relaxer, not your, not, no, nothing with protein in it at that point because her hair is super hard. So your ultra butters, you get what I'm saying? Your power smooths, the things that has the shea butters and the cocoa butters in it, right? or you wanna use the moisture box after somebody's coming in from a box relaxer because that hair is super hard. Then you wanna follow her up like, you guys got steamers? Yes. So in my steamer, I use a cap full of Next Level. Let me bring that up for you guys. So I, I use a cap full of Next Level. So you just take the cap off, pour it into the cap, put it into your steamer bottle, fill your steamer up with what kind of water? Distilled, Distilled water. Why do we use distilled water? That's right. It don't leave a mineral buildup. It's a deionized water. So when anytime y'all see deionized on the back of your bottles, y'all know what that means because your girl just told you because I want y'all to be educated stylists. Yes, I protected the shaft. So the hair shaft is the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. I protected her shaft. I do that step on every retouch relaxer. A virgin relaxer is from root to, to ends, but a retouch relaxer, I protect all my clients because like I said, how do her hair is so short, how do I stop the overlapping? Because relaxer softens and swells, so it's gonna move anyway. But if you did your due diligence as a stylist, you protected your client. Yeah, 
So now that we have the calcium based relaxers, we're talking about those clients, how to treat those. So I put this in my steamer and I put two or three capfuls in a 16 ounce spray bottle. And I use that too at the shampoo bowl after if I don't have a steamer. Say you don't have a steamer because all of us don't have a steamer. Let's be real. You can spray this after, the re after you shampoo the rela relaxer out and use this in a spray bottle and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes or 10 to 12 minutes. What I want you to do, listen to what I'm saying. Relax with the black box. Make sure you protect her hair with the ice. Relax with the black box because we're adding moisture because remember her hair is hard from the calcium. Once we, once we do that, we rinse her out at the bowl. We add this as a post treatment. Guess what this does? It's removing that calcium buildup from her hair. It's not going to happen in one time. So this will always be her treatment until you can get her hair soft. And what I do is now I neutralize. I don't rinse the after calcium out. I put the neutralizer right on top of it. And then I shampoo it. Then I rinse that out. And I shampoo again. I shampoo again. I shampoo four. I do four neutralizers. The reason why I'm so anal is because if that relaxer is left in that hair, Come on now, y'all. Y'all doing a disservice. You can, even though, even though my buddy, my friend, named his shampoo Nutra twice, I want you to do it times two. Holla at your girl. <laughs> All right. He did it. He said Nutra twice, but he really means twice. Do it, do, do it two, two more times. All right. Because you want to remove that chemical. The reason why the hair is hard is because that chemical is still in there. It's still working. So now what you want to do after you rinse her out is... Either put the next level in, like I say, two capfuls either in your spray bottle, 16 ounce spray bottle, or in your, a capful in your steamer with your distilled water. Put them under the steamer, let them get that treatment. Like you get what I'm saying? You're, you're, that's damage control you guys are in. That is an opportunity for a treatment schedule. At that point, when I recognize a client is damaged, I put her on six weeks of treatment oh, come on now. in the chair. Yeah. yeah, you can get rinsed out. Who, where's my um, shampoo? Hey, girl, come on, let me talk to you. <laughs> All right, so what you're going to do is after calcium, because we use the 3.3% calcium base relaxer and guanidine, which is in her hair now. So after you rinse her out, I want you to put this as a post treatment, and then I want you to neutralize her four times, and then I want you to follow it up because her hair is very dry and brittle. So I want her to follow it up with Moist Plus. All right, that's going to be um, your fifth shampoo. Where is Moist? Okay, Moist Plus. And then what I want you to do, listen, is after you rinse her out, I want you to cocktail after calcium with fixative. With fixative. And let that sit. Okay. Come on now. Watch, watch this hair come back like butter, baby. Look at that hair. Come on. Like, look. Turn around so you can see how shiny it is. Put your, tilt your hair back. I'm telling you guys, it's understanding hair. Understanding hair first. And then hair is going to tell you which products to choose. Like if we could just be clear on that. And that's how come I teach trichology. I teach trichology because I learned that a lot of stylists and barbers that's doing hair behind the chair don't know hair. So my heart goes out to those stylists. I want to be able to help you guys build your businesses. And that's how come I teach trichology. And that's why I chose today to give somebody the opportunity to learn more about hair. All right. You got a question? You good? All right. So what I'm going to use now is my three and one. My, why am I using three and one? Come on, class. That's right. Who said that first? You, you listen, child. You got that front seat for a reason. You listening. Yes, for my pH balance. I want to rebalance back out her hair. I want to bring her hair back to its happy place. Even do you do you guys got visible shine yet? Oh Lord. <laughs> Look at say I'm a, listen, this is the best thing about being the type of educator I am. For some reason, I like to touch everything. I want you, I'm walking away. When I walk away, I'm leaving all this behind me because I want all y'all to have it. So I definitely want to make sure. So, but before I go in with my three and one, I'm going to do, do a corrective cut. She already has a cut. I just want to do a corrective cut just to make sure when I get ready to style that her style is executed. 
I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, but I am a barber stylist. I am not a cosmetologist. So, guys, do you guys did you guys say y'all want me to walk y'all through this cut or y'all guys okay? Oh, okay, so I'm using my Babless X uh, FX clippers. I'm gonna use them all the way closed. I'm using my Babless cutting comb, and the reason why I like to use my Babless cutting comb because it does this. It it picks up the entire hair strand, and it's thick. I like how I like the width of it, right? Say it again. I um I like to cut wet because I'm a barber. I'm not sure if it's, I know that's the difference between a stylist and a, a barber, right? Yeah, we cut. Do you guys cut wet or dry? Oh, you, okay. So I cut both too. I cut both too. The reason why I'm cutting her wet is because she just got a relaxer, and once I comb this 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 hair off her and mold her, she's good to go. I don't want to have to cut too much hair afterwards, or I don't like to interrupt my mold because I'm a barber. I cut my. I don't style the cut. The cut is the style. You, you get what I'm saying? So when this cut falls, she's going to be able to wear just where to cut. Yeah, so without, without even a style. And two, you see, like, I like to take the lines out the hair, and the teeth of the clippers texturizes the hair. I don't know if you guys know that. They, they, it removes bulk, it cuts, and texturizes all at the same time. So that's why I like to still use the, clip, I mean, the clippers. Um, two, I never really learned how to cut with the shears, guys, until just recently. I was cutting men's hair for 26 years. And then I transitioned to become a hairstyle, a barber stylist about, mm, about eight years ago. And I've been cutting, I've been cutting like a fool, every, cutting and styling ever since, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm picking the hair up. I'm holding it at a 90 degree. If you guys are, I'm really into the principles of cutting. And then I'm going to comb it down, take it back around, and then I'm going to pull it back up, and I'm going to hold it at a 45 degree, and it's, it's on her scalp. I'm bringing it back up to her guide. This comb is at her guide, the guide that I created, so everything underneath it just fall. Did that just make sense? So I'm going to do the same thing everywhere. So I'm going to pick it up, tilt the comb at her, her guide, and I'm going to cut off everything underneath. And I'm going to do the same all the way around. And I exaggerated a little bit over here. The reason being is because I don't want to make I don't want to make the back of her head look like somebody slapped her in the back of the head. So you got to leave a little more hair here to go with the shape of the head. Yeah. So head head shape matters. I want you guys to remember that. Yep. So I'm just and the, I mean as you can see, look how fast the clippers are. Like they just super fast to me. And then I don't like lines in my cuts and the clipper don't leave lines. So if I was to have did this with the shears, it would have been this blunt line all the way around. Verse, and then you guys would have to go back and point cut. Yeah, see, I just, I just cut out how many steps? By just really just going through her hair. Yeah, I cut out so many steps. And if you notice, like, um, I like to over direct the hair a lot too because over directing the hair around here gives me more length. And then I go back and I pick it up and I get rid of what I, I cause I have an eye for haircuts, for what I might think it might be a line. I don't like lines period in haircuts. And I cut pretty quick because I've been doing this for freaking forever. You guys got any questions? Come on with the questions, guys. Like I say, every educator y'all get in front of, especially if y'all paid y'all good money, y'all want to make sure y'all squeezing that person dry. What was the name of that shine foam you said that we didn't know about? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it in a minute. It's called Visible Shine. Yep, I'm about to use it right now for you guys. Yep, I'm gonna use. One more time. And Silk and who? Oh, y'all know Silky Milk is the is one of those products that you use for like um, all your roller sets and stuff like that. Visible Shine, he created for people like me that only do short hair constantly. Yeah, so it's a great, and it gives visible shine to the hair. Yeah, I love it because uh, Silky Milk, for us, we can use Silky Milk on 
he's catering to natural and relaxed now. So Visible Shine to me is more for the relaxed girl. Silky Milk is for everybody. But when I was using Silky Milk, I used to have to, it's concentrated. I would have to break it down as the Visible Shine. I don't have to break it down. I could just take it straight from the bottle and use it on her hair. Yeah. Come, go ahead, what you say? Do I sell the Clippers? No, these Babblers. The company Babblers that make the flat irons. Yeah, they, yeah, I love these Clippers, child. So I'm a, as my leave-in conditioner, I'm using my three-in-one. It's a, I have an online eight-week course. For trichology, for anybody that wants to become a holistic trichology, it is the only accredited course given by an African-American woman. The only accredited course. So it's an accredited course. So online you get a trichology certification. In person you get a holistic trichology certification. Because they, the accreditation would not let me do the holistic part online because it's too hands-on. they rather for you guys to come in and get that part. Yep, but the best thing about the online course, I mean the in-person course is you walk away with the online course as well for layered learning. Yeah. Yeah, that's for people that, that needs the hands-on. Because with the hands-on one, you get the equipment training, you get real bodies in the chair at that one. All right, so I always like to shake up the visible shine because I'm really into, um, I love foamy products. So I shake, it's four days, yep. Uh-huh. But I didn't shake it up, so I was kind of like disappointed. Oh, yeah, shake it up first. Shake it up, shake it up. I was like, this product don't work. Yeah, it do. Shake it up first. Yeah, shake it up. So you mixed the three and one put the shine together? No, 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 no. I put the three in. I just poured it out that bottle into that bottle. Yeah, just so for spraying purposes because I didn't want to pour it in my hand. Yeah, but I didn't mix them together. I'm using them separate, but still on the same model. Yep. So I use the, um, you got to shake it up. You got to shake it. Because shaking it activates the product. Yeah, so you. Yeah, you know why you went back to Silky Milk? Because you, you're programmed to use foamy. In your mind, you want it to be foamy. Yeah, like we don't even know that we're really programmed. We don't even, we are. We are so, we robotic. And that's how come whenever I teach these classes, it's hard for you guys to break out of habits that you've been doing for so long and to really understand hair. Because it's like, I've been doing it this long, but it, is it working? Y'all see how that clipper cut? Look at that. It just, I'm talking about like, that clipper cut is, I'm telling you guys, I'm actually gonna have a, a clipper cut boot camp for two days in Charlotte where um, my husband and myself and a couple other barbers is gonna teach stylists how to use the clippers and cut hair. I think it's important that y'all, like look how fast I did her haircut. Like, and then you can charge a premium for, um, there I go again with tier pricing. I'm really into marketing and understanding your pricing. This side longer. I don't know who did that, child. They was blind. <laughs> All right, is it time for them to eat? Did they eat our? Oh, y'all serving them now. Y'all so sweet. Y'all so sweet. Did y'all feel that lockmaster when it went around? What y'all tell the truth? What y'all think about it? You like it? It ain't. Oh, it ain't came yet. Okay, where's the lockmaster at, y'all? Wait, it didn't, why it didn't come around? She said in my hair. I'm done with her. What I like to use is, he has Q-Silk. You guys know about Q-Silk? He has one now that has uh, raspberry in it. Yep, so let me show you guys. This is the Q-Silk with the raspberry in it. I love to use, I actually cocktailed this one with the regular Q-Silk. I don't, don't ask me why. I, I guess because I'm so, like I said, we're, we're, habi we're very habitual creatures. And because I love using um, the Q-Silk regular one, I still use it. 
So what I'm going to do real quick is clean her up. All right, so let's talk about these products real quick. Can somebody, okay, raise your hand too now because I don't want random. Can somebody raise their hand and tell me if her scalp was oversensitive, how long do we leave the base on? Raise your hand. Okay, I seen her hand go up first in the burgundy. Say it again. Yes, ma'am, she win a prize. Give her a prize, Tony. Let me tell you all how important it is for you guys to know pH. In order to bring the hair back down to its happy place, you got to know where you started. You got to know where you started. You think closing the cuticle is just water. It's beyond. You didn't blow that cuticle out with anything over seven, and you telling me you didn't contract the cuticle by giving her a cold rinse? Please. All right, guys, who can tell me the difference between the Strength 1000 and the Proplex? Nobody yet? That's all right. I'm Yes, and the Proplex is a premium. Give her, give her something. She listening. Listen, it is important that y'all understand how to use these products. It is you got to use moisture relaxers whenever you see a dry, flaky scalp. You got to use the relaxers with the moisture in it so it can give it the moisture it needs during the process. It's also helping the scalp out, believe it or not. And what I love about most of his products, too, Tony understands the science of hair. So if you guys don't understand silica, which is the main mineral for, responsible for hair growth, he has it in the grower backdrops. And it's an um, ingredient that I love called um, folicacin. It's a real good ingredient in grower backdrops that really helps, it fuels the follicle at the, at the scalp level, which a lot of oils don't do. And that's how come I use grower back in all of my treatments. Yep, so I'm adding the Q-Silk, only a dime size, of Q-Silk raspberry, but I cocktail it with the regular Q-Silk too when I'm doing shorter hair. And for, I think I only do this because I'm so used to using the regular Q-Silk too. And I just love um, the shine, the extra shine for some reason. Now, she can't wear this cut without heat, come on. Y'all better go head on. Y'all better go head on. Like sisters, I ain't even got, I can, go and take me to the airport now, Tony. Go and take me to the airport now. Come on, sis. And two, I like uh, to use Stay. Who, who using Stay? Man, listen. I don't know why he called it Stay. I don't know why he called it Stay. Why you call it Stay, Tony? Because it stay in place. I'm going to tell you why I like it. Man, I, I would call it Sweet. Because that thing's sweet. It don't make the hair hard. It don't make it flaky. It ain't got no buildup. I call that thing sweet. When I be spraying, and it smell good. And it smell good. Yep, and it smell good. All right, I need to, I got an hour. After I curl her hair, we're going to go through everyday maintenance, repair, and retail. Because that's so important that you guys understand um, though, that before I walk out this door. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. I will actually put that, remember I told y'all about the spray bottle technique? The spray bottle technique, I will put the next level inside of a spray bottle and I will actually let spray that on the hair. So, some of my stylists actually leave next level on the hair. I like to rinse it out because it still leaves that residue. So I put it in the steamer already so they're already getting it infused into the cuticle, the cortex level through the steamer process. Come on here. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all, y'all, y'all see these products? In front of y'all. Angel. Yes. I got a question for you. Yes. I got an answer for you. I know you. <laughs> so, so I've heard about like when clients come in for any chemical service, whether it be color or a relaxing service, that they shouldn't have coffee or tea. Or or sodas. Because it speeds up. The, yeah, the it um what it does is it messes with their um, pH. So, that, so if you got to, so we actually sent out an email. Okay, Sam said, is it true that not to give a client a color or a relaxer, any chemical services, you, we send out an email every week that says, if you're going to get a relaxer service and you're on your cycle to reschedule it. Yes. Wow. We sent out an email saying that. Because hormones will make your pH off and that relaxer will not take Remember what dictates hair, hormones and genetics. So we ask our clients not to drink coffee, nothing caffeinated, nothing, no soda before they come. 
because it messes up the pH. First of all, caffeine is a stimulant. It's, 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 it stimulates. It's a stimulus. It even, it even overstimulates the adrenal gland. So like when people drink, coffee is a real good antioxidant only if it's served black. But once you put creamers and sugar in it, girl, that's a, a bomb. So um, damage where? Come on, dry where? No moisture where? Because I understand hair. Right, like y'all got growing hands, I got these knowing hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a difference, beautiful people. Hey, and then y'all, people always come to my shop and they be like, why you got all these young girls in here? Because I'm trying to stay relevant. I ain't stupid. Y'all in the shop with all, everybody, y'all in the shop with the golden girls. I'm in the shop with friends and living single. Y'all better go. I'm trying to stay relevant. Girl, these young girls, they too much. Not with Mama Angel around. I keep them in check. Come on now, y'all can't tell me that thing ain't cute with the quickness. Come on, visible shine. Come on, protein relaxer. Come on, after calcium. And we cocktail, we cocktail that after calcium with fix it here. Because you know those conditioners, his conditioners got, um, it got thermal protectors in it. That's how come y'all ever rinse the conditioners out and they leave like this slip? Y'all think that's a, a coating. That's not a coating. He did that purposely. That is a thermal protector that he left on the hair. Y'all missing it. Y'all trying to get it off the hair. No, bruh. He's putting on the thermal protector because y'all don't understand the science of hair. And he does. He creates that slip in the conditioners so it leaves a thermal protector on the hair. And it protects the hair from the UV rays. The sun. Do y'all know that the sun chemically treats the hair like so we got two types we got two types of melanin in the hair do anybody know the two types of melanin you melanin and phenomelanin <laughs> so this is how come i love color defense this particular conditioner it protects color treated hair i also use it on anybody that needs that extra dose of moisture because you know when hair is color treated it loses its moisture because guess why because the science of color works like this Whenever you got color in your hair, color seeks out the color molecules in your hair and grabs them. And then when it grabs them, it pulls the moisture out. So it's up to you to put it back in. And that's how come we use color. We created color defense. Come on. Come on. Yeah, go ahead, honey. K60 can be used as a pre-relaxing treatment or pre-chemical treatment. K60 can be used as any pre-chemical treatment yes definitely Perfect. yeah so what i do with this like because i'm really into funky neat hair i literally take a little of this you know how they got that they put the edge control on the hair i don't i literally do this i lift the hair up i lift the hair up and i put it underneath and then i lay the hair on top of it so it keeps the hair you get what i'm saying Instead of putting it on top, I lift the hair up and I put it underneath so it can keep that, that so it don't look, so it don't look so pasty. Yes, yeah, so, so I'm framing her face out, but instead of putting it on top of the hair, ruining her hairstyle, I put it underneath and glue it to the skin. Yeah. So again, look at that. See how? Yeah, and it lays right there. Come on. Isn't that beautiful? Once again, give it up for Angel. Ah! <laughs> Hit it, Ebony. Isn't that? Because guess what? We're in damage control. Her hair is weakened, is damaged, is brittle, is dry. How do I get her hair back to the place it need to be? It's happy place, 4.5 to 5.5. It's understanding hair first and then making the right product choice based off the condition of her hair. Does that make sense? All right, do everybody got their books? Any, any more questions? We talking, we talking, we having fun here. Listen, y'all. 
This is a coachable moment. Jeanette, say it. Come on. All right, so let Jeanette pass and come up here right now. Come on, Jeanette. Come on. Y'all y'all just, Jeanette just, she, listen to all the issues her clients got. You're going to stand right here. I'm giving her a tent bowl. Okay. She has fine hair. Fine hair. She has hair loss. Hair loss. She's on medication. On meds. What else? Um, and her, her, her hair is shedding. It's the shedding part, it's right? It's the shed. It's not breakage. It's all natural right. shedding. She relaxed or natural? She's relaxed. All right. So she, what relaxer are you using? Uh, I use the, the red box. The red box. All right. So the red box is the proper choice. Tell me why. Be because she's shedding. Uh, Protein stop what? It stops shedding. It strengthens. Did y'all hear what she used? The right relaxer. But now we need to treat the hair and the scalp are two different things. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to, oh, I'm sorry, baby. What I want to do for you is... We gon' get, we need to get, we need to treat the hair at the, we need to treat the scalp at the scalp level and we need to treat the hair shaft at the hair shaft level. Okay. So what we gonna do is I'm gonna have you cocktail a concoction. I, I know you do. <laughs> I'm gonna have you cocktail a concoction to detox her scalp. Okay. And then I'm gonna have you a pre, I'm gonna, we gonna give her a pre-treatment and a post-treatment. All right? That's what she gonna learn right now. And I want you guys to take notes on what we're getting ready to do. Y'all heard everything that's going on with her client. So she already picked the proper, um, she already picked the proper relaxer. And because she's using um, the protein relaxer, I'm going to have her spray her client down with Strength 1000 um, as a maintenance. Okay. So Strength 1000, I love it because it's a great maintenance because we have Proplex, which is a reconstructor as well, but Proplex is double the amino acids at strength 1000. So I want you guys to understand this. If you use Proplex, you only want to use that six to eight weeks like a relaxer, right? And you use that after color services, you use that as the, after chemical service, over processing and under processed hair. But I want you guys to understand strength 1000. Strength 1000 is going to always be your go-to in between as your maintenance. In the beauty industry, we got everyday products for your loyal clients that you already got under control. Then we got maintenance clients for the clients that you, that's been coming to you because their hair was damaged. Then you got clients that's coming to you for your repair packages because their hair is damaged and they know that you can take care of it. Everyday clients, maintenance clients, repair clients, and retail. Okay. And I do use, Come on. After I do have relax, I do use the next level. I just spray it because I don't have a sleep. So is that proper? You can. You can. You let it sit. I do. All right. So here, take this. So show them what you got. All right. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a detoxing. So let, show the camera. We're going to show the camera. Hey, camera. Hey, All right. Camera. So what we're going to do is you're going to use. Say it again. Grow it back and black carbon, you guys. Black. black carbon 500. So we got grow it back and black carbon 500. If you guys haven't used the grow it black back drops, anybody, you guys familiar with this? Yeah. All right, so grow it back is a multi-purpose product. I'm going to say that one more time. I even got a name. I created an acronym for grow it back. Um, get help for real, B. <laughs> and... The reason why I named it Get Help For Real B is because it's an acronym for everything that's in here. So G in Get Help For Real Ginger Root, the, the E, it has emu oil, the T, it has tea tree, the H, it has horsetail. You guys get where I just, what I, so it makes me remember it. So when I'm talking to a client, Get Help For Real B, you get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I know it's funny, but it's, I'm, I'm real serious about my money and about helping my client. Two ounces of black carbon. And if you don't know what two ounces is, use your, your scales, your color scales. What you're going to do is now you're going to take this drops. I want you to show it to them first. Show them that black carbon. Show it to everybody. Y'all see how I look? What I want her to do is then take the grower back drops, use about five or six drops. I want you to take that, take that tin brush and stir it up. 
Show them what it turned into. Look what it's turned into. Y'all see it turned into a paste. See, look at that. Look at that. Come on now. If you understand hair, you will understand product. We just created. Look at that. You put that, you apply that straight to the scalp. You part the hair like you're doing a relaxer. You part it into four sections. You use half inch subsections. Use your tint brush or a soft brush like this. And you take that straight to that scalp. And it's going, you already know what black carbon does. It's very invigorating. So she's gonna feel that, and not only that, you put your grower back drops in it that's got all the stuff in it. Get help for real, be in it. <laughs> so you, you're going through this and you're explaining to her the benefits of why you're doing this. You're doing it because you have medication in your system. We have to get it off your hair. Your hair is connected to your bloodstream. So whatever medication you're taking is connected to your hair follicle. One more time, your hair is nourished through your bloodstream. If you got medication in your bloodstream, medication is in your hair. So that's how come you got clients that's dealing with hair loss because we're not treating the scalp at the scalp level and we're not treating the hair at the hair level. So put that, put that treatment down. We got, that's your one treatment. Now what she's going to go in afterwards is, remember, we're going to put her under the steamer with steel with next level or we're going to put it in our spray bottle, let them sit with that for 10 to 12 minutes and, we gonna, nice. and then we're going to follow it up. But what I like to do now is she says she's dealing with shedding. Mm -hmm. Power K60 Gold has rice water in it. Uh -oh. Do y'all know what rice water does? It stops shedding. It stops shedding. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our, our rice, um, our Power K60 with rice water and honey. And honey is a, do you guys know what honey is? If you don't, I'm going to tell you what honey does for the hair. That's right. Who said that? That's exactly what it does. And you know what else it does? It binds to the hair because of the molecule. The reason why your blowouts revert is because you didn't put the right moisture in it. Come on, the hair is smarter than y'all. When they walk out the shop, it's pulling the moisture from the air because you failed to put it in it. Now I'm gonna walk back over here and mind my business. <laughs> All right, so I want you guys to make sure that you're using the proper product choices. Uh -huh. So hair itself is slightly negative. So because hair is slightly negative, that's how come as an everyday, a everyday conditioner, you want to use your Power K60 because Tony puts something in your Power K60 that allows the hair not to revert during a blowout service. All right. In all his conditioners. That's how come you need to understand. Let's back up. Power K60 Gold is a premium conditioner. You do not use this on everybody unless there's an upcharge. This is your premium conditioner. If they're express client or everyday client, they don't want to pay the premium, they use using either Power K100 or Power K60. So you have, it's levels to this. So that's what you guys need to understand. That's why you need tier pricing. Tier pricing is just like this. If you catch a flight from here to Charlotte, they get, what's, what's the classes? Business class? First class and coach. If the plane, wherever the plane go, all of us on there, it's just certain tiers that you're going to pay to be on there. And you always want to make sure you got a first class and a business class in your business, sis. That's all I'm saying. Don't just be in there flying coach. That's all I'm saying. So create some tier pricing. In my business, we got something called Charlie's Angels Express Blowout, Charlie's Angels Diamond Blowout, Charlie's Angels Egyptian Blowout, Charlie's Angels Smoothing. Come on now. And it comes with different products, different prices, and different services and you got to create that in your business whenever you do that put like a 50 and 40 dollar increase in between and watch your business grow by leaps and bounds so now we got we're gonna do two ounces of power k60 gold power k60 gold ain't cheap so you better make sure you pass this on to them we're gonna use two ounces of that this is the treatment after the detox and the shedding so we got to treat everything so now that we this is for her shedding so now we're going to treat her hair with happy scalp so i'm going to use about um about an ounce about an ounce and a half and go ahead and stir that for him and then i'm gonna still still use my grow back drops because guess what oils work better when the hair is wet so. y'all putting it in there all dry <laughs> it ain't doing nothing it's sealing out moisture that's what oils do. They're sealants. Yes. 
same amount of drops? Yep, the same amount of drops. You want to do your five? Because you're doing pre and post treatments. All right, go ahead, stir that. And like, show them how that, that turns. Remember that thing was, it's beautiful. And then you want to do, you can just rub this. You can take this concoction and put it all over the hair. And you can either let them sit with a cap outside of the dryer or put them under the steamer or under a dryer with the processing cap for a more premium experience. Remember guys, this is a premium treatment for people that need their scalps to be detoxed and stop shedding. $50. Yeah, I would say, yeah. So what I used was the Power K60 Gold because Power K60 Gold has rice water and honey. So what you want to do is this stops shedding. So you mix the Power K60 Gold with, I use two ounces. And then I use an ounce and a half of the Happy Scalp. Happy Scalp is an antiseptic too. It's a conditioning antiseptic. Come on now, Tony. I don't know what he was thinking about. And I love these treatments and I, I put them together with my grow back drops. So like I used about five droplets, but I usually can fill up the droplet halfway and put two. So if you can fill your droplet up halfway, you only need two if it goes halfway. And then you stir it. Cause remember guys, when these companies, when these companies say aloe and honey and um, shea butter and cocoa butter is in products, it'd be a very small fraction. I'm, I'm sorry. Tony just paid me to be here, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. And the reason why I concoct all his products together, because they marry well and they're his products, and it just makes sense. And Grow It Back is always my go-to for all my treatments because it turns all his conditioners into a paste, which makes it stick to the hair better. And two, Grow It Back, because of the, the molecule weight of it, it, it attaches to the hair strand. Yeah. I do natural hair. Uh-huh. And it's from what? Store-bought products. Yeah, so you have to, okay, so if they have a lot of buildup on the scalp, you either want to use Clean Start or Clarifying. And now that we're there, Clarifying shampoo is only supposed to be used six to eight weeks. I'm going to say that one more time. If you clarify your client every time they come, you are wiping that scalp and that hair chef clean of all its nutrients and natural oils. Clarifying shampoo is only supposed to be used every six weeks. Like, do not use Clarifying Shampoo. That's how come we have Clean Start 2, the Proplex, and the Strength 1000. Do you guys, are you guys familiar with the difference between the two of those? All right, so Proplex is our new amino acid reconstructor. And what I love about this reconstructor is this is one of the only plant-based reconstructors on the market that does not make the hair hard. It actually has detangling properties, moisture properties in it that you could use on a client. And I love this particular one. I just did a YouTube video. If you guys follow me on YouTube, it's called Beauty Meets Business. On that video, I used another product line color, but I went in after with all my treatments from Straight Request. And I used a Proplex after a lightning service. So at first, I pulled her hair without Proplex, and she had no elasticity. I sprayed Proplex. Elasticity came back instantly. So this is something you want to use when you're strengthening a, a client's hair after a lightning or a coloring service or weak, weakened bonds after a chemical service. You guys got that? So this is your treatment that you use every six weeks. Now your Strength 1000, I'm going to show you guys that. Your Strength 1000 is the product that you use in between as your maintenance package. Are we clear? All right, so when I say are we clear, we have everyday products that you use every day to clients that come on a regular basis. Then you got your maintenance products. This, is, this falls under maintenance. So maybe we need to create some categories. What do you think? Yes. Maybe, I should, maybe I should have you guys go through your book and I can, you guys can circle everyday products versus maintenance products versus treatment products. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, so let's do that. While, while I'm waiting on my beautiful... Um, all right, I think that's a great idea. Let me show you guys this. We also have now the purple ZX. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure you guys haven't seen this one either, right? I know I'm snidging. But the purple ZX, I love this because this is for clients that need to be toned. So you, I always use this after a lightning treatment before I tone my client after a lightning treatment. And guess what else I use this on? Cause I'm a barber. 
I use it on men with them gray beards. And I brighten their beards up and it turns it violet. And the men walk out, and I done did before and after pictures that I'm gonna be dropping on my Instagram soon using this, where it literally takes the brassiness out of the beards. And it's making those men that's walking around with those full white beards really be that, that vibrant color now, and it jumps out. And it does the same for gray hair, white hair, silver hair, and so forth. You guys got that? This is a great toning treatment. And I use this to even tone too. If you let it sit on five to 10 minutes, it will tone the hair. And then you can go in with your toner afterwards if you choose to, or you could just use this as your last final shampoo in any toning process. We have a shampoo called Clean Start, right? So here's the clarification. Here's our clarification. And then here's our Clean Start. So my clarification shampoo, which page is it on, Tony? Oh, he wanna, he wanna teach? Oh, well, it's a whole instructions of, um, he got, yeah, it's in, it's, in our, it's in our product knowledge book. We got a whole instruction page dedicated to clarification because you guys are robbing these clients of their nat natural moistures and their natural sebums. So, right. So what I love about, okay, so the clarification one, of course, guys, is a sulfate shampoo. Our clean start is sulfate free. Yes. For, so this will be your treatment shampoo. This will be your maintenance. Are we clear? Whenever I'm cocktailing, it's one shampoo is softening the other shampoo blow. So even when I use clarifying shampoo, I don't never use pure clarifying shampoo because I know what clarifying shampoo does to the hair. So I'll soften the blow. So like for her lock client, overactive sebaceous glands, would I go to hydration, the hydration shampoo or moist plus? Hydration all day long. Y'all to see all these scabs and go in with Moist Plus. Oh, you need moisture. Why do they need moisture? They, the last thing they need is moisture. Their scalp and hair is telling you they got enough moisture. It's telling you that it lacks hydration. And you know what else you can give them? Some natural remedies too. A client with overactive sebaceous glands usually are eating too much fried foods. So you want to make, you guys, we are hair doctors. They see us more than they see their doctors. If you got a client coming to you 52 weeks out the year, then they only going, like, I go see my gynecologist how often? Once a year. She don't know me. My hairdresser know me. Right. So you as a, a, a stylist got to start getting further in your education where you're able to say, all right, I noticed that you do have overactive sebaceous glands. Are you eating a lot of fried and processed foods? And what you can suggest is lemon, hot lemon tea in the morning. You can suggest that. And two, tell him to drink half his body weight in water. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So don't be so fast through your shampoos. Make sure that you're like for me, clients that deal with those type of issues, I literally will go through their scalps, part through it and then massage that product in and then walk them to the shampoo and start my process. And in their mind, I can charge them for a scalp scrub. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, that took me 15 extra minutes. I mean, you can do dollar a minute, 15 more dollars. I don't know. I mean. Let's add up 15 times five a day and multiply that by how many times you work a day and multiply that by how many mo the month and then a year, you get yourself a $20,000 raise. Like, let's just think, guys. Don't leave money on the table, all right? So, so far we, we know about all the products. We got a new product too called Lockmaster. Do you guys know about that? No. So, <laughs> what I love about the Lockmaster, and I'm gonna pass this around so you guys can feel it. Lockmaster isn't only for locks, twists, braids. It doubles, it triples, it quadruples as I use it for edge control. But we about to pick the right products now. We're gonna put everything in categories. We got everyday, maintenance, repair, and retail. So as I go through, I'm gonna say what each category this, that product fall under and you can write it out under your categories. Tell me when you guys are ready so I can go through the categories with you. Yep, y'all ready? So everyday maintenance, repair, and retail. All right, so of course ice every time you do uh, a relaxer. So ice will be every time you do a relaxer. Sensitive scalp, the black box is a moisture balance relaxer. If your client is coming in and her hair is dry and brittle, you want to use the black box. Are we clear? 
If it's dry and if it's dry and brittle, do not use protein. Protein is not to be used on dry, brittle hair. It makes the hair harder. You guys get that? You guys, the first thing you guys run to in salons is she need a protein treatment. No, she need a balance of moisture and acid. She don't need protein every time she come. The hair is made of 95% protein. If the hair is excessively shedding and weak, go to the black box. I mean the red box. It's the red box. The black box is moisture. The, um, the, black, the black box is moisture. The red box is weak and excessive shedding. We clear? Weak and excessive shedding for the red box. The black box is all moisture. All right, so ultra butter. Remember I said don't use ultra butter. Don't use straight plus. Don't use um, power smooth if you're a slow stylist. But I'm going to tell you something. Y'all sleeping on those relaxers, they're great relaxers, but you got to move quick. And the reason why I love Tony Relaxers is because he created these relaxers with the stylus in mind. So hydration is your everyday shampoo. Every day is an everyday maintenance and repair. Put it under all three categories. And I'm going to explain to you why. Because everybody that comes in is going to either need moisture or hydration. That simple. Don't even overthink it. So then we have Nutra Twice. Nutra Twice is to be used after any chemical service, even after colors. I use Nutra Twice. I sure do. I use Nutra Twice doing my, relax, my relaxers, my colors, and my lighteners. I use Nutra Twice because Nutra Twice is made to stop a chemical action. I use it four times on relaxer, but only one time on color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's because I don't I need to follow my colors up with my other color, my color treated shampoos and conditioners. All right. So you can use that Nutra twice. And two, you ever heard of an acid bath? So say a client comes in with a, a, a scalp that might be inflamed, but you got to be able to recognize too. the first shampoo. If she got an inflamed scalp after you detox it, you create the, 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 the treatments that I taught you guys. You want to then go in with the Nutra Twice afterwards. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Nutra Twice will remove, it'll acid balance that scalp back out. And I love that. <laughs> you, so it's called an acid bath is what you want to give clients. And what that does is it's balance the pH of their scalp by giving them an acid bath. Because hair loves a balance between acid, um, moisture, and hydration. So clarification is only to be used, what, six weeks, guys. You guys got to have a full understanding that clarification is... It's not your friend if you're using it for the wrong reasons. If that, if that client, you hadn't seen that client in four weeks and you know it's a bunch of product, I would still use clarifying, but I would cocktail it with another shampoo depending on their hair and their scalp type together so you're not completely stripping the hair. I'm not saying to stop using clarifying. I'm saying don't use it as much. Yeah, and that's how come he created Clean Start. Because your clarifying is your sulfate and your, your clean start is your sulfate free. Same thing, softer blow. I just, real quick, I want everybody's attention. Real quick, I just want everybody's attention. On a serious note, do you believe if you learn more about hair, you can change your chair? Yes. Just, not, I'm talking about. The reason why I, I went on a personal crusade to understand the science of hair, and I, I'm in school now for, um, I just got my degree in holistic uh, health, and now I'm in school again to, um, I'm taking, um, I'm actually really thinking about going back to school to become a dermatologist. Because at the end, yeah, I, that's part of my retirement plan. You gotta set yourselves up, guys. Um, the more you learn, the more you earn. I'm not just saying it. it's not cliche. It's definitely a maxim. If you structure your business to a point where you set your business up for success and then you're then taking that money that you're making and intentionally putting it somewhere, like investing into a compounding interest account or a 722E life insurance policy. Like, I am not just a plethora of knowledge when it comes to hair. Like, I got money. And I don't chase it. And I'm telling you guys, it's because of the information that I am willing to give every day to whomever want it. And I want you guys to be able to do the same. If you're a veteran stylist and you're struggling in here about what's next for you, what's next for you is already in you. You just got to figure out how to tap into that genius inside of you. How do you package that thing up? So for me, I created an online school called Art Academy, Angel Robinson Academy, 
angelknowledge.com. I cre I, what I did with Angel was I packaged Angel Knowledge up, I recorded her courses, and I put her on a platform and I sold her. I'm not saying Angel is the only person that can do that. I'm saying each and every last one of you guys do it. Don't wait till you turn 40 to do it. I would say do it now while you're young and invest your money while you're young and do the right things while you're young because there is an older person living inside each and every last one of y'all that's depending on y'all to take care of them. And you, I, I'm going to leave you with this. 80-year-old people get their hair done, but 80-year-old people don't do it. All right? And if any of you guys want to do business group training, the more, the cheaper the price. I want you guys to understand that. The more people get on board, the cheaper the price. The less people, the higher the price. The reason being is because my time is very invaluable and the information that I have would change your life and business forever. Y'all like Angel? Yeah. Yeah.